Welcome and thanks for tuning in to Sunday Evening Sermon. For the next few minutes, we hope to inspire you to live your best life, spiritually, emotionally, physically, and financially, through this message. It is open to all, regardless of faith. Let's watch and listen. Hey there, wonderful viewers. Welcome to another Sunday evening service. Have you ever felt like life's just too much to handle? You're not alone. We've all been there. Today we're discussing as we look at a common saying that might not be as helpful as we think. Which one, this one, why God won't give you more than you can handle, is dead wrong. Stick around as we unpack the truth about handling life's challenges. Let's start with a scenario we've all experienced. You're having a bad day, no big deal, right? But then that bad day turns into a bad week. And before you know it, you're stuck in a month-long funk. It happens to the best of us. Now, enter well-meaning friends and family. They're trying to cheer you up and out comes that famous phrase, God won't give you more than you can handle. It sounds nice, doesn't it? But let's think about it for a moment. This idea is often credited to Mother Teresa. She once said, I know God won't give me anything I can't handle. I just wish he didn't trust me so much. It's a comforting thought, especially when times are tough. But is it true? Many people point to 1 Corinthians 10.13 to support this idea. However, this verse is actually about resisting temptation, not enduring suffering. It's important to understand the context of biblical passages. Now let's consider some real-life situations. Think about survivors of terrible tragedies, or someone who's lost a loved one in an accident. These experiences often feel like more than anyone can handle. Here's a crucial point. God doesn't cause our suffering. He allows it, but he doesn't will it to happen. Even Jesus had moments that felt overwhelming. Remember the night before his crucifixion? He was in deep anguish. The Psalms are full of raw, honest emotions too. The writers cry out to God, feeling abandoned and overwhelmed. This teaches us it's okay to feel like we can't handle things sometimes. It's normal to feel overwhelmed, sad, or even angry. So, What's the truth if God does allow us to face more than we can handle? It's simple. He wants us to rely on him. Think about the great figures in the Bible. Moses freed the Israelites. David faced Goliath. Mary became a pregnant virgin. These were all situations beyond human capability. When we face impossible tasks, we learn to depend on God. It's in these moments that we grow spiritually. We step out of our comfort zones and see God work in amazing ways. Remember, God's plans are big, big. If they depended on human limitations, nothing would get done. Facing more than we can handle does two important things. It strengthens us and it brings glory to God. Now, let's talk about what to do when life feels overwhelming. First, it's okay to admit you're struggling. It is. Cry out to God. Be honest about your feelings. Remember, Jesus did this too. It's not a lack of faith. Next, lean on your support system. Friends, family, your church community, they're there for a reason. Don't be afraid to ask for help when you need it. Also, remember that tough times don't last forever. Even when it feels like there's no end in sight, change will come. Hold on to hope. It's a powerful force. Finally, focus on what you can control. You can't always change your circumstances, but you can change your response. Choose to trust God even when it's hard. Choose to look for the good, even in difficult situations. So the next time someone tells you God won't give you more than you can handle, remember this. Life will sometimes give you more than you can handle on your own. But that's okay because you're not meant to handle it alone. God is with you, ready to provide strength, comfort, and guidance. Thanks for watching, friends. If this video helped you, give it a like. Share it with someone who might need encouragement today. And don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. Until next time, remember, you're stronger than you think. Thanks again for watching. Join the Daughters of Sheba Foundation each Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the Sunday Evening Sermon and be inspired for the week ahead.